is another episode of no producers left behind and in this video i'm going to be showing you how to make a beat video um, with a picture and then in the next one i'll show you how to make one with a video and show you a method of how not to get copyrighted or lower the chances the so first thing we do in here is go to composition new composition we can make it name it what we want i'll name it beat make sure it's 1920 by 1080 um, it should already be there it's like the standard click ok now I'll, I'll explain what everything is this is the timeline down here where you edit everything um, you should already know that if you know a little bit about after effects this is like just a few tools you can use in meters you have your effects your align your characters your text this is all i'm going to be using all this other stuff is pretty useless for now this is where you import stuff um you can right click and go to import file and then choose a song or you know picture video whatever you want so right now i'm gonna actually take and if you want this outline this uh layout just click essentials up here it just looks better than the other ones so i'm gonna drag the photo down and then what i'm gonna do is stretch it just click it click and hold and just stretch it out and I'm gonna actually stretch this a little further outside the lines just so it doesn't, you know, you don't see any black lines unless you want that movie effect. So you see it's not fitting. So we're gonna come over here, go to fit up to 100%. Boom, just like that. Okay. So um, if yours, you can change the color or whatever you wanna do. I think I'll change it later. I'll change it later when I put the spectrum on. So drag your song down here, and then you can just leave that. You don't need to touch it. Um, right click down here, okay. Go to new, solid, and it should be everything should be the same. I'm gonna just make it name it. Just name it audio, and now everything should go black. It should do this. Um, what you're gonna do is right click on the audio right here, over here. Go to effect, generate audio spectrum. Now there should be dots, okay? Now we can take this background picture away so we can see it better. We just click this eyeball. Right, we can change the color. I think I'm gonna make it white but I kind of um, want to do a little bit of red. So we can try that. Okay. Make this one a little bit darker outline, something like that. So now the first thing you really want to do though, I just did that um, just for the color wise, go to audio and just click on the song that you have and now everything should be set. Um, the mixing might, I think the mixing does matter or maybe that's just my After Effects, but um, when I do this, it only usually shows the bass, but that might be because I use a lot of bass in my song. So it might just be overpowering everything, but um, yeah, that's just for me. Yours might be different. Yours might, you know, show everything. There is ways to adjust it, but that's getting really advanced, so. Well, there might be a way but i don't know so next you can choose the start frequency let's see i'm gonna pick this and kind of just shape it a little bit you can change the frequency right here and you can click this arrow change it here if you want something like that i mean go for it i might choose some a little minimalistic something simple Maybe a little bit more <clears throat> the height um you can just drag this too so you want the height i don't want it too much and the rest of this you really don't have to worry about thickness obviously change the thickness softness how soft you want it leave it around 50. um this you can change the color like a rainbow or whatever but 
uh, I'll just leave this at zero for now or around there. Um, you can change how this looks so you can make it analog like that. And you can make it dots, which is just dots around it. But I'm gonna do digital and then A, in this one side options, A is just above. So you cut the bottom out only the above shows and then B for the bottom. I might use the bottom for like when I put the words here and stuff. But I'm gonna use it on um, both for now. But right now we're, we're pretty good. I'm just make sure it doesn't, the base doesn't go too you know, crazy. You can see mine, it's not really showing the lower end. So I'm just increase this a little bit. Um, this, all of this though, is just preference. You don't really have to do the stuff I'm doing. If you have the problem I have where it doesn't really show the high end, easy fix, just move this lower or, you know, so I'm gonna keep it where it was at. Was it lower? No, higher, I think. Oh yeah, it was lower, it was lower, okay, my bad. Okay, so we can keep it like that. And uh, I'll be to turn this back on and there you have it. We're pretty much done, but this doesn't look good to me, like graphic wise. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna edit the background photo. We go to project just to make it, you know, so it's clean. Click on the photo, okay? Right click on it. First thing I'm gonna use is blur, camera lens blur. I'm gonna click right here on the hexagon and go to decagon and probably raise this just into somewhere I like it. We can see his face, but not really. So just like that. Next, right click inside this empty area. Um, go to color correction photo filter and this is just if you want to change the color click right here go to custom and you can just change to your color i'm gonna do like a dark red and then 100 percent and then if you want this look keep it like that but i want it to be darker so turn this off preserve luminosity so something like that and i want it a little bit darker so I don't like the really dark one, but uh, something like that. Okay. All right. So let me fit this up to 100. And I don't know why this. Okay, that's the outline. All right. So now you could just leave it like this. You like how that looks? If you just want everything red. I might actually change it. So I'm gonna go to effects again and just see if I like something else. And I think I'm liking the red already. I mean the white, my bad. So um, now I'll just play it, play the song. You can just see and I'll turn this down so you can see everything clearly. So I'll play it real quick. And again, like I said, I don't really know why it's not showing the other frequencies that well. It might just be something on my end. Let me make all of this white so it looks a little cleaner. Uh, and you can just edit from here, shape everything how you want it. I might just pull this back so that it looks a little better. Let's see, uh, how does this look? All right, it does bother me that this part is not really doing anything, but I mean, 
Yours might be different. Mine just might be messed up. So you can, if you want it to end where the song ends, you just hold this right here. Click and hold and drag it. Then hold shift and it'll just lock into place. And I'm gonna actually move these bands back down because I want to show a little bit more. All right, so that's good for me for now. Um, turn this thickness down a little bit. So now you're pretty much done. You can do other stuff. Now I'm gonna just put like um, an effect on it. We can go to side B, I believe. Let's see. Okay. So now you can just actually just click the right here. You can click up here. And I guess you come to this side. Uh, you can name the beat. I forget what was the name of it. Send. I'm going to drag this out so it actually goes up. And just edit from here. I'm going to try to create like a little quick little brand. Let's place this. And you can use this align feature too to align stuff perfectly in the middle too. So, but we don't want to do that. We want to align it kind of right here. And I'm gonna actually make this little sleek. Let's turn. Where is the character? Um, I don't know. The black kind of looks nice. But we could do white. Um, you can put the name or you can put like post Malone type beat or whatever you want to do in here and it'll automatically go on the top layer so i want to make this a little bit smaller though so you can hold shift to make it smaller if you want the same size but i don't want it as close as possible to the edge right there and then we can make another layer um, you just click here and then we can just put like your brand here if you just have letters I guess you can do that so I'm actually press the uh, something you like the um, trying to think of a name that's good beat I want to use stat I mean plug because everybody has that uh hmm i don't know the beat makers i don't know some just you know and i'll highlight this one and then down here you can just edit stuff so you can make you know just mess around but i'm actually use this one and then something like that maybe that looks terrible i don't know but it's just if it's, that's your brand or whatever so let's actually move this down you can press down arrow on the keyboard just to move it closer all right and then i'll show you just a few effects this is already about to be 15 minutes but um it's just a few effects so I'll just play it. And again, if you want to make it clear, it's probably not as clear as I would like. So put it on full. And now it should be very clear. So. skipping a little bit um i'll just show a quick few effects 
you know just if you just want to make stuff like come in smooth um so you can come right here go to transition you can click this right here this little time marker these are key um keyframes and then you can put it to zero and then at some point you can just make it like come in and all i have to do is just put the opacity up and i'll show you that So, yeah, that's how you make a a um, beat video, a simple one. If you just want that, you can add effects like snow and all that stuff. But I mean, you don't really need it. It's just so you can get your point across. You can just play the beat again for the spectrum. It may vary person to person depending on how you mixed it. Um, I use a lot of bass, so that might be my problem. Some people, they don't use a lot of bass and they, you know, boost the um, high frequency but I really don't like that sound so that's probably why mine doesn't show up as much on this part on the high end but anyway um if you're new subscribe if you're a returner and you you're not subscribed subscribe I hope this video helped out hope you can make some clean looking videos now and um I'll see you guys in the video peace